welcome to Bars and Bells. My name is Lauren. And I'm Ian. And I realize I do that every time I say hello, I tilt my head. Hello. Well, welcome to the Strength and Swings class, where we get strong with our kettlebell, which is off to the side, because first, we must get warmed up. We must warm up. I have a light bell for my warm up, a heavier bell for as Lauren takes us through those things at the end. We'll leave a little bit as a surprise. Let's start with our body weight and then get the bell. Starting with our feet, knees, ankles, hips in a parallel position, knees over those toes in the squat. Then extend those hips through. Cramp those butt cheeks. Let's do that twice more. On the down, think pull. On the up, press or push. One last time, knees over toes and hips right on through. We'll be squatting today as we will be hinging. So let's open up our stance to your hinge. Oh. Chip chop, as Lauren sometimes says on those Chippity hips. Chop. And just go through those hallmarks of our hinge. We have vertical shins. We have tension on those hamstrings. We have a long extended spine. As Lauren's head is showing there, a nice neutral or normal position for the head. Okay, then push your feet into the ground, extend those hips through. Let's repeat that one more time. Hinge on those hips, vertical shins, heavy toes, tension on the hamstrings. Now break some of those rules, go knees towards over toes, hands to the floor. On those knees, let's do some really quick wrist warm up here. Hands are open, blood donations face forward. From there, the first knuckle push up for about eight to 10 repetitions. One, stiffen those elbows, two, and three. You can modify that stance as you continue. Think full body tension, butt cheek squeezes, elbows core straight. braces, elbows straight. Both at the same time Nice. As well. Last one or two. And don't shrug your shoulders. And then push the floor away. I don't know if you could think of all up. of that at once. Then from here, can we go back to our toe squat? Perhaps find the heels. Lauren's gonna stay super low. I'll be here in my squat. And then push through to tall. Let's do this another squat warm up. Open up to where you might perform your goblet squats coming up in a moment and pull your heels together. Guide ourselves down as we pull down. Then core brace as we push, extending those hips through. Repeat, pulling in and then pressing away. Let's do that one more time. Then Lauren's gonna walk us out and go through our first plank. Hands on the floor, step those feet back into your high plank position. Toes are tucked, hips are now tucked, connecting your ribs to your hips. Keeping your hands gripping the floor, your elbows straight, your shoulders pulled down. Pull, but don't move your hands to your feet on railroad tracks. Right hand, right foot, left hand, left foot, both at the same time for three, two. Knees come down, take a second off, gently to tilting the tailbone to the ceiling. We're going to do that one more time. We have some single arm swings today, so let's get it fired up. We're back up into that high plank. Think the same tension. Go. 10 seconds. Glute squeeze. Pull on the floor and railroad tracks. Eight more seconds. Breathe behind that shield you created. Could come and punch you in the stomach or kick you in the butt and it'd be okay. Three, two, soft knee landing. Hmm. Ooh, I'll take it over from here and we'll stay low and let's cuddle our imaginary kettlebell and just our first get up of the day with bare hands. Pack the shoulders. Roll to your back and press. Set up in that get ups position, arm extended to the side, and then extend the hip, pull on the elbow, and then get to that tall sit. In the tall sit, we bridge and sweep, and then press the floor away, squaring up the lunge and hup, to tall stand. Now the leg will drop back in a controlled fashion, open, rotate, hinge, hand to the floor, and sweep through. Find the elbow. Now go back for one second and return. One, 1,000, return. One, two, and return. Now three, two, one, return, and four to the floor, and then it's Lauren's turn mm. to coach us through the other side. Mm. So nice in this cuddle though. Nice in that cuddle So for from sure. that cuddle position, we'll take it, we'll take two hands and press. Pack that shoulder, keep that wrist nice and neutral and strong as you drive with the hip extension, pull on the elbow. Keep looking at your bell as you find your hand, lift the hips, bridge, 
sweeping the leg. Make sure that back toe is tucked as you come through this kneeling lunge position and using both feet, press to tall. We'll control that nice lunge back to the floor. Front foot will open, we'll rotate, hinge hand finds floor, sweep the back leg through, through, find the elbow, one and back up. And one, two, and back up. As much as it's abs, we're using that foot as well. And back up, and last time, four, three, two, control the down. Oof. Pull your bell down, put it back where you got it. <sighs> and let's get up, there's no rules, so come on up. Anyhow, that works for you. For the final warm up today, let's take one of these kettlebells into a bottoms up position and rack, core brace. Bottom up, and it'll be probably that lighter kettlebell of your choice if you have two. I stand behind that kettlebell, I place my pinky near the horn, and Corner. with the other handle, hand at the ready, hike pass, pull the rack, and I do adjust the stance. Hold for time. Could the elbow get towards 90 degrees? That's a heavy load to do that, and let's return that back down open our stance and return to the floor. Same thing on the other side, that non-dominant hand might be more challenging, so give it the spot with the other side as we hike past, pull it to goblet and hold balance. Then approach 90 degrees at the shoulder and elbow. Holy cow, that non-dominant side <laughs> is hard. And then return to the hike pass, returning to the floor. We'll be touching those bells a little bit later here. So let's just cool those jets. I'm gonna hand it to Lauren to take it over. I wanna do one more bottoms up, but until then, let's body weight pattern how we're gonna to press today. We've been working on our presses and I want to take out the legs this time and only use that upper body a little bit. So what that means is we're gonna be pressing from our kneeling lunge position. So come on down to a lunge. Either of your back toe is tucked or point it out straight behind you, either is appropriate. Let's take the same arm as the back leg. It's in our rack position. Grooving your press, pack that lat, slowly pressing your bell towards your safe overhead. Once you get it there, let's keep that elbow nice and straight. We'll do this once here, but not again. Shrug the shoulder, keep the elbow straight, pull the shoulder back down, and then pull the sky down, pull that imaginary bell back into the rack position holding, and then relax. Chuck that bell up to the, off to the side. Let's stand up out of our lunge. I just got a lap cramp, I tried so hard, and reverse it. Other leg, step back, control your down. From here, we'll imaginary cheat clean the bell to the rack position. Nice neutral forearm, here you go. Lat packed, slowly pressing to your safe overhead. Once there with a straight elbow, shrug, pull down, and then continue to pull that bell back into that rack position, feel that lat, let it go, place it down, push down and away to stand up tall. I'd like to do that bottoms up one more time, either staying in that 90 degree position with the shoulder retracted or working towards a full press. No matter what, set up over top of that bell, grip close to the corner, but not on the corner, a little swing through, pop, upside down. Establish that strong base of support, and if you're ready, control the up, and control coming home. Keep it tight as you park that bell, placing it down. Whammo, bammo. Whammo, bammo. Second side ammo. That's nice, wish that was that, a nice. Wish that rhymed better, but it kind of did. Made it work. Same thing, second side. Hinge, swing through. On, Once you got your foundation, hup, hup. Spot safely and come down. Ooh. Ooh, that was messy. I wish that wasn't on television. Oh, it's okay. <sighs> it's all right. For the next time. For the we'll next time. We'll tidy that up. You got it. All right. So with that bell or a slightly different bell, we're going to come down into our lunge, lunge position. Place your bell near the crook of the lunge in between your leg here. 
You're going to take your outside arm or the same arm as the back leg, bring it to rack. Let's just test the waters here and do one press each side. So you light hinge as you grip your bell. Grip to the rack, bracing abs, squeezing butts. One press with control overhead. One pull down to that rack position. Two hands on, put bell back down. Extend to tall. Let's just bring that leg under and switch to the other side. Same routine. Tuck, or sorry, light hinge, grip, pull to rack. Once here, squeeze, brace, up, press to tall. Pull that bell down with control. Two hands, hinge. Let it go. We're standing up to tall. Put yes. that number in your mind. We'll talk about it in a second. Until then, we're going to warm up our single arm swings. Hike pass. Single arm swings are going to start with that hike pass. So for that, you could do your little dance, make a little love, but maybe not yet. We'll chop. And now it's a single arm hike pass for three repetitions. Pull that kettlebell to the zipper and park it out front. Again, Lauren's side profile will demonstrate this the best. We hinge a firm grip on that kettlebell, pull it to the zipper and park. Pack shoulders, pull, park, breath, pull, park. Bare hand it up. Same effort on the other side. Breath, brace, pull. We hinge, grip, breath in, pull, and park. Pull, and park. Last one, park. Bare hand it up. I know there's more coming up, so save those repetitions, but practice those grooves. So knowing there's more coming up, we have four more rounds of this, which means four more rounds of kneeling lunges. What reps are gonna work for you? Three next for me. Three, I like that number. Let's try to stick with threes for the next four sets. If three is too many, pick a number that's less than three. That's one or two, in case you were wondering. Come on down here. Are you sure? Are Pretty. you sure? I guess there's a zero if you call that a number. Okay. Which could be true in that you're just holding in your rack position, finding stability here, and that would be great as well. Our number is three. We're going to cheat clean to that rack. Three presses. It goes up. It comes down. It goes up. It comes down. And down. Hopefully, on these, you feel Ooh. that core stability. I Try do. not to shift and drift and bend and twist, but to stay under that bell. Same thing, other side. Use your hinge. Pull to rack when you're ready. That off arm has tension in it on that press to keep you stable. Last one. Pull down. Park that bell with control and stand up. Whew. From the hike pass, we're going into our stop swings. We'll keep that number three as well per each side and stop swings is to the hike pass, hi -ya! out front, hike pass and returning it to the floor. Set it up, hand on the bell, breath in, pull, swing and park. Breath, pull, swing and park. And last one, hi -ya! and down. Straight elbows, packed shoulders and look for that breathing match, hi -ya! Core, brace, glute squeeze, Lauren nose, same thing, other side. Hand on, pull, yeah, and park. Again, yeah, there's two, park, three, and then two more here. Oops, nope, three, three, three. I do like that number five too, but three it's a hard number to is count good to. for now. One, two, three. Okay. All right, speaking of the number three, we're back into that kneeling lunge. I had one side that was definitely more wobblier than the other, you? Surprisingly, it was my dominant. My non-dominant felt more stable. Yeah. Interesting. Let us know what you think. I'm gonna start with that non-dominant side just to spice it up. We're on round three of five here. She cleans that rack and we're still aiming to those through that three number or any number of your choice. If your number is 10, might I suggest you buy a new kettlebell? Time to go up or do what you want. But I like those threes. Or put it upside down. Upside down. Bottoms that up from Oop. her lunge position. 
That'd be spicy. Spicing it up. All right, second side, same routine. That core tension, you should still be able to fire that back butt cheek to help you woo, stay braced woo. and park. I wooed for you. I know, I had to adjust that foot to get my balance back. Okay, we're gonna do the same activity with a single arm swing warm up, but for our clean. Am I right continuous. to say that? Ooh, we're gonna do one, one set ahead. of continuous swings. Continuous swings. Single Let's arm. go for those number five. Number five on the continuous swing. No putting your bell down, five swings. Set up, hike pass, five. And yeah. And two. And last one. And then park. Lauren's pace is the best. I'm trying to match Lauren. Let's all try to match Lauren here as we swing one more time for five continuous swings. Single hand, three, two, pull. One, then two. Pack shoulders, one more. That's our five. And park. Oh, did I count right this time? Yep. Not always, but sometimes I get it right. That's our one arm swings. I think we have another set of presses. Two, actually. Ooh. All right, round four presses. Pick your side that you want to do first. Come on down. Light hinge to pick it up into that rack position. Still using two hands to get it there. One, two, off arm, core brace. Three, Whew. put that bell down. So taking away those legs a little bit not having that lower body to help with the stability should help us and get us stronger to that next bell level Ooh. or whatever you want to press next. Same thing, second side. Hinge grip, three. <clears throat> Keep it tight as you park that bell and up without. Woo. Woo now is you're right. right. Now I I'm right. Okay, let's go through cleans. Just stop. Stop cleans. So for three repetitions, it's the same as a swing, but we'll tame that arc and end up with that kettlebell in this rack position. You can show us. Let's show it. So a single hand swing that turns in to our rack and then we'll park it. We'll repeat that for three repetitions on the right and left sides. And then we have one more set of presses. So let's go on those stop cleans. Single hand, breath, pull, clean. To the hips or groin, return to the floor. Pull, zip. We're making sure here to not twist through the middle, zip it up, and then return to the floor for our third rep. Barehanded on the up. Little shake, little wiggle, reset. Same thing, other side. Single hand on the bell. Pull, zip it up, and return. Heavy toes, squeeze glutes, braced core, and one more time, zip, up, and then to the floor. That is our stop clean. And Lauren was checking her ant sting. Not an ant bite, but rather an ant sting. Little an anecdote ant right bite. there. I got oh. an ant bite planting garlic in the garden. Oh. Man. These ants we have are very vicious. We Tenacious. can't even go into the garden anymore with bare feet without coming out. With... <sighs> anyway, any tips, let us know. Okay, we have our last set of presses here today. Mentally Ready. prepare. Are you still mm -hmm. going for three? Going for those threes. Yeah, I'm going to keep it consistent. Consistency. Here we go. It. First set. Ooh. I had some now front I see foot. you tap dancing with I know, that front I had foot. some front foot walkings there. <laughs> All right. Root it, grip it, squeeze it. Here we go. Woo! Pull it together. Last one. Literally there pull we it together. Go. Scissor those hips. That helped. Whew. That helped. That's our fifth set Don't of presses. Those. Maybe our fourth. I'm not sure. I'm sorry. No, that was five. Okay, five. One. And then we have one set of our continuous swings that turns into cleans. So really, it's a continuous set of cleans. 
for three. Am I right? You're right. Okay. Three Every once in a, while. in a row. Don't put your bell down. Whew. So we'll set it up. Single hand on the bell. Hike pass. Zip clean. Hike. Zip it through. One more time. Yep. That's three. And return to the floor and up. Other side. Last set for three. Hike. Zip. And zip. And one more time. Three. And return. I'm just pushing that venom around. Yeah. We have the warm up done. We have more than just the warm up done, but I think this gets the tricky part. So let's listen to Lauren for some instructions. A couple weeks ago, we did this. Ian was in here. He was doing something. I forget what it was. But we did a single arm swing and a single arm or a squat combo. So it totals five. First round swing, one, two, three, on number four, clean it. Adjust your squat stance, one squat. Bell goes down, th same thing other side. Each time, we're gonna drop a rep off of our swing, but add a rep to our squat. I'll tell you, I have it written down, I should be able to keep track. And if I don't, be sure to let me know. This is that weighted cardio, I'm looking forward to it. We're gonna go at the same time, we're gonna have not too much rest, it's gonna be a great time. So we set up behind our bell, three swings on four clean. Here we go, set up, three swings. One, two, three, clean this one. Rack, step to your squat stance as needed. Keep your elbow in tight, pull down, up to tall, clean it down. Park the bell, stand up, same thing other side. Hinge grip, three swing. One, two, three, clean four, one squat. Through and park. Take a second, but not too many seconds. Back to the first side. We clean on number three this time. Here we go, hinge, grip, swing for two. One, two, clean. Squat two. Elbow stays in, pull yourself down, up to tall. Through, park. Couple seconds off, nose, ins and outs. Second side, swing two, clean three. One, clean, squat two. Through park, take a second. So this is the tipping point here. One swing, one clean, three squats. Set up behind your bell. Hip hinge. One swing. One clean. One three squats. Elbow stays in. Park. Place bell down. Up without. In that squat position, we have that off arm. Maybe it's in mirroring the other side or it's out for stability. Make it consistent. Clean one, sorry, swing one, clean one, squat three. Here we go, swing one, clean it, squat it, three. Last one, park it, place it down. Okay. Second off, one clean, four squats. So no swings, right off the floor into that rack position. Here we go, hip hinge, one clean, four squats. Core brace at the bottom, keeping the spine long, pulling yourself down, park it. Up without, couple seconds off, <laughs> gather the strength again, back to your bell, one clean, hinge grip, clean, adjust, Four, squats, elbows still in tight. Pull down, don't just flop. Park bell, don't go anywhere. Couple seconds off, surprise. The surprise isn't that yet. Okay, I'm ready. The surprise has come back full circle. 
One set, five single arm swings each side, continuous. First side, hinge grip, five. Just swing. Park bell. Take a second. At the top, that shoulders retracted, playing a little bit of game of chicken on the way down. And core. Here we go. Last set of five. Hinge grip, five. Park. Up. Now, nose open, mouth closed. In the nose, force the exhale. In the nose, force the exhale. One more time, in the nose. Force the exhale. Now in for four, out for four. In for four, hold for four. Out for four. Into the belly for four. Hold four. Chest for four. Exhale four. One more round. Into belly four. Hold four. Chest for four. Exhale for four. Now hold empty for four. Three, two, relax. <sighs> Honestly, I cannot inhale in the chest for four seconds after the belly. But what I can do is just I heard Keep that. Trying to fill it Snuffle up. up I guess. Get it up there. And then exhale slow and shake it out. All right. Well, what would a strength and swings class be if we didn't do any get ups? A couple get ups here. The answer is not a strength and swings class. So get a bell. Yeah, put that one off to the side. I'll take that one. Okay. And let's try. Hinge, 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 hinge. There we go. To do. Some get ups here. We're going to start with one in a row and see where that takes us. I'm using a slightly heavier bell, so I am getting out my heavy belt to do these get ups with. Yep. Choose, depends on you, depends on how you feel after all those presses, all those squats. Maybe you're patterning it body weight. Maybe you're using the belt you press with just to spend more time under it. But let's start with one get up each side. So from the cuddle position, we begin. We roll it. Press. Oh, yeah, it's been a while. And then work through that get up, pivoting and rotating around your bell. Finding that core stability in that lunge position we've been in a lot tonight. And controlling the landing back to the floor. And cuddle. Nice. Nice. Let that bell go. Take your time spinning around. Get it in just the right place. Sweat it all over it this belly. It's a hot one today in here. So keep the bell security number one. All right. Second side, same routine. Got a little press. Hip drop. Tall set. Bridge and sweep. Press the floor away. Squaring up in the lunge. It's a tall stand. Take your time coming down in the lunge. Enjoy that windmill. Favorite move in the bunch. Sweep, elbow, and brace like the plank in the warm up. Two hands on, cuddle it down. Woo! Woo! All right. That's our one and one, Lauren. That's one and one. What do you have planned for us next? Well, I was thinking, do you think you could do two in a row with that guy? Oh, yeah. Yeah. How about you? Yeah. Yeah. Let's try for two in a row. And if not, maybe drop a bell. Not drop a bell, but go Place down a down. load. Or be with the one, excuse me, heavy with the first rep and then try that second rep as a body weight repetition. Would it, or 1.5. Or 1.5. Get to the sweep, come back down. You got it. Wherever you're going, we Let's better get, get going. We're going to get there. All right. So we're aiming for about two in a row here. Cuddle, roll, press. Here we go. Taking your time, 
but kind of continuously moving through your get up and keeping your eye on the bell as you come out of this windmill position, making your way to the back. When we get here, we keep the bell up. Try it again. And to the back with control. Those two hands finish. Ha. Woo. Oh, I think I took one from Lauren's book there. And I did my non-dominant hand first. Oh. When I was just a little more, not worried, but curious to know if I had that endurance. And I'm glad that I got it out of the way. Because now here we're on our strong and stronger side now. Ha. And when All Lauren's right. ready, let's cue that up again. Two in a row, Ian. Yep. Same as the other side. Same as the other side. Here we go. Cuddle. <laughs> Press. Hip drive to the elbow. Tall set. Bridge. Sweep. Push the floor away. Square up the lunge and to tall. Then drop in the lunge. Open in the windmill. Sweep through to the tall set. Elbow and then to the back. We'll repeat again. It's the hip extension. Tall sit, bridge, sweep. Square up in that lunge. Tension on the full body to stand and lower with control. Open, hinge, sweep, elbow to the back and use those two hands to return it to the floor. Oh, yeah. Nice. That was good. Ah. I think hmm, that was no work at all. I think I'd like to do one more get up each yes. side. Singles, because after doubles, it feels great. Oh, yeah. It's strong, it's a little quicker. Really get a lot of bang for your buck. Whether it's here. a wave or a pyramid or an upsy downsy, one, two, one. Finish like you could do it again. But I promise this is the last exercise with the bell today. I don't know if Lauren agrees, so. Upsy downsy is a technical term. Upsy downsy is the most technical training term we know. Okay, here we go. Last time, one full get up each side. <coughs> Take your time, thinking about each move, packing both shoulders all the time, focusing on just your get up here as you work through each step. And always finishing with control. <sighs> Could you do that again? That's yep. wonderful because we do have one more repetition coming up. But again, it's a trick. Oh, just on the other, on side. other side. On the other side. Whew. Also, in general, finish like you could do it again. But I promise this is the last one. I hope Lauren and I are on the same page with that. We're pretty on the same page. Okay, good. We have one more little thing, but then it's only five <laughs> things. All right. Last set for a full get up here. Let's, uh, yep, go. Sorry, I was thinking, did I do this side already? It's gotten quiet, which means we're focusing. So focus on your get up too. I figured they had heard each step this whole time. I thought the color commentary could be treat them to some silence like a yeah. Yankees game all yeah right. Right on. no okay. rules Lauren no rules all right I was thinking about finishing up with one set of five only squats maybe you use the same bell you just did your get up with we're going to come over top do a cheat clean to that goblet position check your stance pull yourself down press yourself up five times bell goes down we do a little stretch and we piece out. Do it. All right. So we're over top of our bell. We'll use our hinge. Hands on the top, pack shoulders, brace core, pull, re-grip. Step your feet in your squat position. Pull yourself down up to tall for five. Three more. Feel that control down and the press away. 
and the core brace on both sides and the bell slightly off your chest. Use your hinge to park the bell. <sighs> Come got on, it. Out. Got mm. it. Covered in sweat and yeah. got it. Take a second. Let's move that bell just out of the way so we have some space here. Okay. Hmm. And we're going to finish up in our light splits. So come on down to a seated position. Let's try the best to squat here. Okay, however you'd like. Oh, okay. And we're going to come into a split position here. Don't force yourself in it yet. Just get to where you can get comfortably. And then take your hands behind you. Either physically lift or bring your butt cheeks back. So you have that nice extended spine here versus being in slumps. If you're in slumps, prop up the butts with yoga blocks or pillows or try to reach that tailbone long. Either pointed feet or dorsiflex feet, be one, don't be in between. Sitting up tall here, let's start. Back to our head top and just a light rotation. So rotating a head over a shoulder, back to center. Rotating a head over shoulder, back to center. Come back to center, retract your shoulder blades, do that again. Reaching long out the crown of your head or the top ponytail and back to center and rotate and center. Once in center, let's keep our lower body stationary, but try to slide our rib cage from side to side. As we're doing this, we're keeping our shoulders relatively parallel with the floor and trying to just get to some side to side action here. Last one, and then end in center. Now try it forward back. Chest, heart leads, yep, blades back. And then actually I lied a little bit. We're gonna just do a light round or ribs on hips. Then from there, light grip, think about extending your heart chest forward. So that extension of the spine and then a little bit of flexion of the spine. As we're doing this, we're keeping those blades retracted. It's hard work. It is hard work. So that when we come in that round position, it's the spine rounding, not just our shoulder blades dumping. Last one, end in extension, leading with that heart forward. Good, and then relax, but stay. Could you find a little bit more room uh, on each side in those splits? With that heart forward, we'll just walk ourselves forward again. But if, if I had a rod down my spine, it wouldn't bend. So we're keeping a nice long spine, tailbone slightly tilted towards the ceiling here, hanging out in our pancake a bit, breathing, catching our breath. I'm rocking back and forth again. Whatever feels good, find a little bit more space. And then we'll press through to tall. Just bring those legs in. Easy does it. Wipe your brow. Wipe your stash. Come to tall. Tall stand. Hit the showers. Oh, that sounds great. Thank you very much, Lauren, for taking us through today's practice. And thank you very much in the audience for being here, either live at 4.05 on Tuesdays or in the archive anytime thereafter. I'm Lauren. I'm Ian. This is Bars and Bells. Together we stay strong with our bars and bells and look forward to doing it again with you soon. Most notably Thursday morning, 8.15, at the bar for balances and core strength with Lauren on the floor. Until then, have a great night. Take care, stay strong, and train soon. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>